Okay, so our topic is about the greatest common factor. So we're done with divisibility. Now we can define greatest common factor. So here's the definition of a greatest common factor. Uh, the greatest common factor D, we usually denote this as D, this one. Factor or divisor, it's the same, of A and B, denoted by GCDAB, if and only if uh, D divides A and D divides B, and C divides A and C divides B, then C is less than or equal to D. So, ang pasabot aning number 1, si D is a uh, ka-divide siya, no? Okay. Kuhaan siya. Like, for example, if you have um, katong concept na sa divide, and then the second is si C o si A ga divides ni A o ni B and naapay mas gamay sa iya ang uh, factor or divisor mo nang siya ang greatest common kaya mas nako si D kaysa ni C nako ha so usually i denote na to siya as G, C, D um, A, B Kaya so pagkita na to ang greatest common factor so yung magtanaw ni sa remarks um, so, si D ang common divisor ni A o ni B. Kana, ha? And then, ang next na yan is si D ang pinaka dako nga divisor. And then, if A and B are not, are not both zero, meaning not zero, there exists a GCD and it is unique. Na ay mo gawas, no? Pero kung si GCD kay 0, 0, ang imong A o ang B kay 0, then wala well, answer. It's uh, undefined. Because we cannot find a GCD for two numbers which are both zeros. Take note ha. Wala kay greatest common denominator uh, divisor pag 0 ang duha ka numbers. Kay wala kay makitaan. No? Kung sa ang greatest common di divisor ni 0 o ni 0? Wala. Undefined. Pero, go ang GCD kay koan, kaning koan. If, if the GCD of A and B is 1, example, nagkua ka sa GCD, example ni A o ni B, then ang gigawas kay 1, the two numbers are relatively prime. You call it relatively prime. Like, for example, you have 2 and 3. Hello, good morning! So, it's relatively prime. <laughs> and for the fifth remark, <laughs> if nine answers are GCD sa A and B, define, then always positive on GCD. <laughs> And then, always uh, greater than or equal to 1. So, wala kayo makuha ng negative ng GCD. <laughs> Example lang na kay GCD. So, wala dyan kay GCD ng makuha ng negative. Always kina siya positive. It could be greater than or equal to 1. No? There are several methods in finding the GCD of two or more numbers. So, I will show you some of them. Can you still hear me? Hello? Yes, sir. Ah, sige. By the way, you have questions here in the remarks and also in the definition. Na ah, wala. Claro sa? Hello? Sige, din ito sa example ha. So, mag-start sa example na itong agitudlo sa atong kuanta at itong elementary. No, kasi elementary mo niya concept ang koan. Ang GCD. But before that, can I ask, what is, be, pagkita ka sabi, what's the GCD, greatest common divisor of 3 and 0? Can I sabi? Pila gani? What's the GCD of 3 and 0?
อีเลนะงั้นต้องตรีมันสิ่งเงี้ยงั้นต้องตรีสิ่งอะไรนั่งอีเลฟงับบลังค่ะใครมุนี่ยังคงอิสระคำถามในปังตานะสิ่งนี้เลยมีมีบีอร์แอนเซอร์ตรีสคอร์เรกบัดงั้นนู้นเป็นอะไรใช่สิ่งเล็ตสตาร์ทวิบอาวุธดิสไว What's the GCD of four and five? Can I be? Mas, what is it? Mas, say ni sa kais kanang three and zero. Tige. What's the GCD of four and five? Tige pila man siya. Ang si answer. Ah, sige, balik to sa katong ko ano, balik to sa katong basic na ginagamit na to kay feel na ko kay galisod ta og recall sa usal pagwa sa GCD. So, let's start with the first method, listing method. Okay. Sa listing method, list down the possible factors of each number being considered. And then get the common factors and choose the greatest common factor among the different ones. So, for example, so method one. Okay, find the GCD of thirty-six and forty-eight. Can you bet? Take it try. So, kung ay ka listing method ang gamiton, iso at imo si thirty-six, iso at imo si forty-eight. Tayo yun. Pangitaon ni Mutaran niya factors. So, pwede nga mag... Kasi mga factors ni 36, pwede ka magamit sa factor 3. So, divide ni mo. What is 36 divided by 2? Example, you have... 17 Okay, pwede naman siya gamitan sa factor 3. So, you can have 36 divided by 2. You can have 18 times 2. So, nana kay greatest common factor nga 2. Ah, I mean nga prime nga 2. Si 18, 9 times 2. So, 9 is 3 times 3. So, nana ka aning ya ang mga koan, ya ang mga Common factors. So, pwede kasi 36 is 2 times 18. Pwede na yung ka 4 times 9. Pwede na yung ka 12 times 3. 17 kabuo. Pwede ka 36 times 1. Kaya na siya. So, kana ro ba sa tanan na kung ano na ito? Ah, pwede po ka 6 times 6, no? Kaya siya. So, nakuha na na ito yung mga factors. So, meaning, kapag ito ang tutunan nga mag-multiply, tama ko na ito si 36. So, 48 dahil yun, you can have... Ay, usually, akong gagamitin ka ni Gid. Akong kaiputul-putulun siya, no? Pwede po nga mag-start ka sa 1 times 48. So, then, kay 48 divided by 2. 24. For the 8 divide 3, possible 16. Then, yun. For the 8 divide 4, possible 12. I think it's not divisible by 5. How about 48 divide 6? 6 and 8, no? So, pwede po ka sa 12. 12 times 4. Pwede po ka 24 times 2. Kaya na siya. So, pagkita ako din sa 36 to sa 48, asa ang common, greatest, pinakadako, si 18? Na, wala. Si... 36. Wala man siya. Si 12 yun ang pinaka greatest common. 
So, the answer is 12. Nakuha ba siya? So, the GCD of 36 and 48 is 12. Hello? Can you still hear me? Hello? Yes, Napa sir. Uh -oh. uh, sakto ba siya? So, ang common niya, ang common, ako isa lata, ang common divisors, we have 1, C2, C4, C6, o C12. Ang pinakadako din sila, C12. Let's check if uh, 12 divides 36. Tinood ba? Nag-divide ni 12 si 36. Because 36 is equal to 12 times 3. Di ba? Check. How about will 12, uh, well, 12 divide 48? Okay. 48 is equal to 12 times 4. Check. Okay. So, tinood to atong first nga example, uh, nga definition nga D is the greatest common factor or divisor of A and B if D divides A and D divides B. So, tinood man niyo, C12, you divide niya C36, o C12, you divide niya C48. Let's look at the second example. Ah, katong second sa definition. C divides A and C divides B, then C and C is less than or equal to D. Ah, sige, example. Dito ito example sa second nga uh, Kihatag nga situation. Example, ito tayo si 6. 6 divide 36. Yes, because 36 is equal to 6 times 6. Uh, 6 divides 48. Yes, because 48 uh, is 8 times 6. Oh, Tinood siya nga divide but mas, mas dako pa si 12. 6 is less than 12. Okay. So now, sige. For example, aning sa 3 and 0, sa man siya? Or kaning sa 4 and 5, sa ka ha? No? So 4 and 5, ang, ang number yun nga, ah, sige, tayo na si 4 and 5. So si mga factors ni 4 and 5, 1 times 4, 2 times 2, kana na. Ang 5 is 1 times 5, kana na siya. So si common nila, si 1. And they are relatively prime no prime okay, okay. any going on this how about wala well, question sa listing method Wala. So, let's go to the canonical form. Ano So, ang canonical form is katubitong, ibutang ni mo siya as array. So, example lang. Uh, for canonical form, you first get the prime factorization of each number. Kanya kong gihimon. <laughs> okay, wala kayo kong ganyan magkuha o factors. Nga, and then, write each number in canonical form and then choose the common factors to the least power then multiply. Sige, mga ito. Ah, uh, dinina pa ibutang ha, canonical form. Ah, uh, dili siguro. Method 2. Okay. Same yapon si GCD ni 36 o ni 48. Sige. Nakay 36, nakay 48. Kung maging canonical form, kato iya ang prime factorization nga result. For example, sa imong 36, ako naman naging buhat o nakay 2 ka 3 o 2 ka 2. Therefore, it will be 2 squared times 3 squared. Kaya muna iya ang uh, factor form. Kang 48, ah, sige, atong gamitan sa kwan si 48, kay tulon ni mo, you have 2 times 24, na kay 12 times 2, na rin kay 3 times 4, 2 times 2, so pila ka 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, so na kay upat ka 2, Nakai isa ka 3 O nakai isa ka 4 Now Manaan 
At ito na po ang prime factorization at ito na siyang nasulat in canonical form. Then ito sa number letter C. Choose the common factors to the lowest power. So meaning, atong kini yun ano yung 62 squared times the guy. Gamay man siya kaysa 2 ni 4. Dayo ni 3. Si 4, wala may pariha. So wala. So kanila atong kini yun. What is 2 squared? 4 times 3. It is 12. So mana siya ang kaning sa second yung method. Question. On the second method. Okay ra ba siya? Hello? Hello guys. Hello. Hello, napa mo? Hello guys. Yes sir. Ah, uh, please answer ha kay para mako ana ko nga naapa na <laughs> Okay. Okay, we will go now to the lesson really of the day because uh we, we already have a greatest common factor before, so I, I think you are familiar with these methods. But now, we will go with another method, which is the Euclidean algorithm. This will be this is a method introduced in number theory for getting the greatest common divisor, which will, will be useful in the latter parts of a discussion. So, you call it Euclidean algorithm you know, from Euclid. Okay, using the division algorithm, divide the big number, say A, with a smaller number, say B. The division algorithm states that given positive integers A and B, and B not equal to 0, take note that B is not equal to 0. So, si A or si B, and si B, di siya equal to 0. Okay, we all know, kung naay ka tong koan, no? Okay lang, isa ma zero kay mga kwa tawag GCD, but kung duha, di pwede. There exists a unique integer Q and R, which is R is greater than or equal to zero, but less than or equal to B, such that A is equal to B, Q, R. So, ang atong ikidal algorithm is kani. Start ka sa imo ang A is equal to B, Q plus R. Kana siya. Si Q kay quotient. Si R ang remainder. Si A and B. Katong given nga mga sa GCD. No? Kaya na. Take note si si A ang bigger. Kaniya big. Kaniya siya ang small. Sa atong ka. Okay. And then express the result in the form A, B, Q plus R, where Q is the quotient and R is the remainder. Use the division algorithm again to divide B by R. Sige, as in B ang i-divide by R. And express the result in the form of the dividend is quotient times divisor plus remainder. Let's see with A is equal to B, Q plus R. Diba, ang big man ang dividend, ang gamay man ang divisor. I uh, repeat the same process with the new quotient and remainder. So, balik on to the new bot yan ha. And until you get the remainder, R of N is equal to 0. Kana, ang pinaka, pinaka last na remainder dapat 0. But, the, the, the remainder of the GCD of A on B is Rn minus 1. So, katong before sa katong na 0 siya, kato ang iyang GCD. Okay. Example ta. Maybe we can still have Okay. Usually, magamit siya pagdagko na ang mga numbers, no? What is the GCD of 3, 4, 3, and 280? Kana. Sige. Can you try it first in your koan? What's the GCD of 3, 4, 3, and 280? So, take out that atom A, si 3, 4, 3, atom B, si 280. So, isulat siya as in this form. Um, BQ plus R ka na. So, lahat siya as A is equal to BQ plus R. So, na na kay A nga 3, 4, 3. Equals, ang imong B is 280. Kung imo na kung anon, it's like times 1 man na siya all, no? Sige. Akong ikuan na kay Jesus. So, si 343 is equal to 280 times 1 man na siya, no? Plus, bilang remainder, what is the, uh, 343 minus 280? Uh, 
Okay, na siya. So, na nakai, nak nakabutang na siya sa A is equal to BQ plus R. Next, you divide again. So, yung ingon, uh, repeat the process. And, so, ang inyong buhaton is, ibutang ninyo, kanin si 280, kanin na po siya natin rin. Dahil kanin na po din si remainder under rin. So, pila man si, si 280 kang 63. So, divide. 280 divide 63. So, it is 4, no? So, it times, 63 times 4. Plus, what is 63 times 4? 252. So, 280 minus 252. So, you'll have here 28, correct? Sige, after anak, padahe na po ka. Kali na po din si 63, ang diring assign. Kali na po din si 28, ang diring assign. So, si 63 is equal to 28. Pila ka anak kang 28 si 63, no? I think 2. Then, plus the remainder of, I think, 7. Kana. And then, si 28 na po din ka. Equal, si 7 na po na dire. 7 times, 4 man na siya, plus 0. So, this is your R sub N. This is your R N minus 1. So, so therefore, the GCD of 3, 4, 3, and 280 is equal to 7. Kani siya? Kani. Mani siya yung greatest common divisor. Nakuha ba, guys? Hello?